Okay, this is just a little video explaining uh, how my polarizing magnet works on the reeds. On some of the Bedini and Pulse motors that I've seen out there, uh, if your rotor is here, imagine with your this is one of your rotor magnets with the north pole facing out. If you have the reed facing sideways, this is showing that when the north pole is at this end, it's going to activate the reed. And as the magnet goes through, it actually shuts off. And then it, when it gets to this end, it turns on again. Um, so you're getting two pulses uh, if you have yours set up this way and that's sort of a wasted pulse because typically you're timing with the, where the coil is on the rotor um, you're gonna want one pulse to go through there and not have a wasted pulse you might be using twice as much current this way um, versus turning the reed on end like this where the north pole is just activating the one side and then you'll get one pulse and what I'm doing with the polarizing magnet is when I have it like this and I have a polarizing magnet up here with the north facing in it negates it puts a north pole on this side and north pole on this side as it's like this and the switch won't close but then when with my alternating magnets on my rotor as a south pole comes by the rotor you know the, the reed as it's in this alignment then the north and south make continuity through the reed and cause it to close uh, but on some of the some of the setups where you have it sideways like this it's going to have a double pulse which you don't want so it's going to be more efficient to turn your reed this way and just have the pull of the magnet if you're just going with all north out or all south out and just activating one side. Uh, just a little info I wanted you to understand about what I'm doing here. Um, and the polarization magnet also, as you move the reed away, let's turn the reed this way. As you move it away, it's going to have a little bit less of effect. And my polarization magnet up here, as I turn, you know, move it. Uh, closer and further away it can change the pulse width of it so you, you basically have a uh, uh, kind of a passive electronic circuit here with uh, uh, being able to uh, adjust your pulse width uh, uh, on your pulses and I hope that helps you understand what's going on here I got this information from standexelectronics.com um, the info they have a lot of files on there and the one you want is the English version it's a the first word of the title of the file is English version um, of all their reads and at the bottom of the file uh, if you scroll down you'll come to the point where there's all this read information on on how they work how they're activated different ways of activating them um, but you can see here also when the north pole is in the center, it's off. Let me turn it sideways, and there's north on this side, south on this side. Then it activates the reed. So it's just a little info that you guys might want to check out in case you didn't know on how the reeds uh, work exactly. Um, and it might save you a little current by not having the reed pulse twice by having it in this orientation compared to the rotor. So turn your reeds this way and you'll probably be using uh, half as much current to run your Bedini or uh, pulse motor. Alright, thanks.